So when was the last time you went to the city market? Yesterday. <laughs> well, our show just went there a week ago. If you were watching last week, you, you, you've oh, yeah, already the been. catacombs. Yeah, we went to the catacombs. But I guess there's a whole lot more to the city market. Oh, so much stuff. You can get gifts. They have outdoor events. Always the food, too. Of course, yeah. At one time, they had a barber shop there. I know, because they got a little shave there one time. <laughs> well, Michael Atwood is going to show you what's there now next. Joe Perrin, here we are. This is the great granddaddy, great grandmother of farmers markets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you're looking out at uh, about 36 different uh, merchants here in the city market doing everything from food to flowers. And again, because it's the city market, it's even broader than a farmer's market. Yeah, exactly. You know, we are open to everybody coming in here. You know, you can come and we encourage people to come with work. We encourage people to come with a book. Uh, we encourage people to come after work to hang out. Uh, we have activations that people can do on nice days. We have bocce ball outside available, usually cornhole set up. Uh, and we try and do as much programming as we can to just pr provide a place for people to be together, to be in the community, uh, to help make Indy the best city it can be. Let's go take a look. Let's do it. You love to smoke meats, but I've been told that uh, you smoke some unusual things as well. We smoke hard-boiled eggs. We smoke some ice cream for uh, root beer floats. You smoke ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we get some nice, great ice cream, and we put it in a big pan, and we just do a... Uh, cold smoke on it, and it's it's kind of fun. Remember, come back on Wednesdays for the smoked ice cream. Just Cookies is the oldest vendor that we have here in the city market these days. What do you love about making cookies? Not just making cookies, working in the market, it is great. You make, you know, you make so many new friends, meet a lot of people. I love chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip, that is the, the most popular. Yeah. And there's nothing plain about it, is there? Now I feel bad. I mean, I'm eating in front of people. That's all right. One more bite. I'm good. <laughs> now these fermented foods, it's one of those things before refrigeration. How did people preserve foods? How did they keep them healthy? This really goes way back thousands of years. Right. Yeah, essentially this was what people had in their root cellar or their cave so that they had food through the winter until they could start growing fresh crops again in the spring. Essentially is how this started. You know, the nice thing is that now in 2018, kind of science has caught up. We understand the magical little world of microbiotics that go on and all of these things that we didn't know existed, you know, before the 1900s. And now we've been able to improve on all of these. So we have better texture, our flavors are better. We uh, are able to source, you know, specifically what we want to get a specific result. So it's nice. Jeanette, the sign says the flower boys. It does. It does. I, I don't see any boys. Well, someone's got to run the show. <laughs> but uh, the two boys that own the shop, their names are Jake and Jake. Uh, and they're two friends of mine from college. And so they kind of wrote me into doing this. And I'm privileged to spend every day here at the city market selling flowers and arrangements and all that sort of thing. And I love having walking traffic stopping by because sometimes when you have your own flower shop, you don't have people walking in as much. But when it's here, it's like I'm able to talk to more people and hang out with them. So they, after they grab a cookie, they can come get a flower arrangement for the evening. Exactly. Definitely. Ryan, you're, you're about the newest vendor here. What are among your most popular items here? Uh, my This Is Home, Indiana t-shirts, those are locally made, so those are really big. Rings, a lot of rings, just jewelry, and I try to keep a good variety. I think it's a good place for people to just come see what there is, and uh, you never know what you might find. Joe, some wonderful jazz behind us. What, what experience at the city market would, would be complete without hearing a little bit of music? Yeah, it's, it really uh, puts the exclamation mark on the experience, I think. Uh, we're lucky to have them. Uh, we're always welcoming people wanting, uh, that want to come down and busk and perform. Uh, and then every Wednesday at the farmer's market, we all, we'll, we'll always have music performing there from about 11 to 1.30 p.m. But especially with a song like Le Vion Rose on a, a nice spring day like today, I think it really just uh, highlights the experience here. Joe Perrin, thanks so much for uh, showing us around the yeah, city market. Thanks for coming by. Wonderful experience. For Boomer TV, I'm Michael Atwood.